if you go to Google and put in the words Alistair Campbell and Justin Welby, you will probably be directed to what's called the uh, GQ site. Um, this is a magazine GQ, but it has a video sort of outreach. And Alistair Campbell and uh, Justin Welby both had a discussion, of, I think, at the beginning of October. I've only just come across it. Uh, I'll just remind you who Alistair Campbell is. or oh, He was Tony Blair's um, press officer. Justin Welby is the Archbishop of Canterbury. Now, they had a very jolly talk, um, which went on for about an hour. I haven't read, heard all of it so far. Um, but certain things struck me. Um, what we need to remind ourselves is this, that Alistair Campbell is, a, is a, a, an immortal soul and his sister is praying for him. So I think all Christians should pray for Alistair Campbell that he might be converted. Um, Justin Welby is doing a good job at that. Um, however, I was slightly put off by some of the approach in a sense. You see, Protestants, of which I'm one, we believe in salvation by faith. That is the great truth of the Reformation. And um, However, there is also in the Bible a, a talk about repentance. Now, if Alistair Campbell is going to become a Christian, which I sincerely hope he is, then I think we have to ask him a little bit about repentance. The same would be true of Tony Blair. Tony Blair has become sort of some sort of Christian, but an entirely fake one, in my opinion. He shouldn't have been allowed into the Catholic Church until he had done penance for his notable sins. Now, Alistair Campbell, I'm afraid, was associated with Tony Blair in the decade of blood that Tony Blair instituted. Uh, the war in Iraq, for example, according to John Pilger, lost over a million people. Over a million people died. Uh, not the British forces were just a rather minor element in that. But the, a million people died in Iraq through war and sanctions brought about by Tony Blair and expedited through the efforts of uh, Alistair Campbell. Alistair Campbell also, with Tony Blair, um, superintended the disappearance of Dr. David Kelly. So, we must pray for Tony Blair and Alistair Campbell. Um, Tony Blair that he might come to a true faith and not the sort of tea leaves in a teacup sort of faith that he seems to have obtained via his wife. Um, and um, Alistair Campbell, we can believe can we really be born again. So let's pray for Alistair Campbell.